you haven't noticed yet, I just, I'm just booted in Windows 98. You may be wondering why I'm in Windows 98 for this tutorial. The point is, I'm showing you this. The reason this debug assembler is good to learn how to use um, before you use like flat assembler, because this debug assembler is not just built into Windows XP. This is built into operating systems all before that. All Windows operating systems before Windows XP has it too. See this Windows 98 has it. And it's exactly the same. But in this tutorial I'm actually going to show you how to write a debug file. Which, it, it, you know how you had, to, let's say, I write my code, whoops, debug. I'm like, okay, jump this, then this then I'm like whoops I, d I accidentally messed up here how do I fix this well I'm going to have to jump all the way back to my data retype this and retype everything after it but that obviously will get annoying so what we're going to do we're going to write a text file and what's cool about a text file is if you mess up you just gotta Go, you just gotta scroll up and select that text and change it. So first, just open Notepad, save a file as hello.asm. And with this command I'm typing in do, it's just the first one creates hello.asm and then the second one opens it. They're just normal text files. So you um, ASM is just the common um, assembly file extension. So let's first say we're going to start at 100, A100, that's where you always start. Now, jump 134, uh, let's go 145 to make some room, and let's define our bytes. Now, you may notice this is kind of exactly what we typed into the bug. This part's not part of assembly code. This is just tells the bug where you're going to start um, coding, where you want in data. Now, to leave this part of data, you're just going to leave a space. So a, so that left data. So now, see this line, I'm coding assembly. But if I leave that line blank and go to the next one, now I'm back in the bug, and I'm going to tell the bug we're going to go to one four five. And now we can start in assembly again. Mov A eight zero nine. Mov DX one o two. You may say, oh one o two. What's that? Um, this you're supposed to be getting the location of the string, but how do you know that? Well, just look where you moved. I moved or I jumped to A one hundred, and then so this code would be on A one hundred. And assembly codes take up like two hex bytes. So that means this one would be located at A100. This line would be located at A102. And if I go down here, this line is located at 145. This line is located at 147. This line would be located at 149. Or I think 149, if that's how hex goes. But it goes down by two because that's how much space your command takes up so mob a808 and 21 and 20 now rcx so to find remember press enter twice leave a space to leave um, the position in data so this is more debug since we can't use the hex subtractor and everything to figure out the size of our file should be just make something that is just assume the size we're going to go with 100 this file size is probably like 50 something it's probably how big it should be but I'm just going to write 100 because if your file is bigger than it's supposed to be it will just mean your file is bigger than it's supposed to be it won't mess up your codes but if you're smaller if it's smaller than it's supposed to be then it will so rcx 100 that defines I'm writing it size 100 name it hello.com write it now put a Q now always put your in, uh, enter a new line after the Q if you don't do that what's going to happen is it's going to not actually send the quit command and it's going to lock up 
and it will compile your code but it will also lock up the DOS prompt will lock up so now just as, after you save your assembly file just type in debug put a less than symbol what this is for is it just sends the context of a file to a command the contents and so we're going to send the contents of our um, a, a debug assembly file to the debug command now look as you see what it did is it put in all the data for us and so now if we type in hello hello world press the key to continue and look see one weird strange thing about whoops one strange thing about the prompt in Windows 98 and Windows Me when your code's finished it just says it changes the title to finished then the name of your code and if you press a new key it's going to say the MS-DOS program has terminated this is just a Windows 98 thing it doesn't close by itself but like Windows XP and everything ahead of that it will close by itself so don't worry um so yeah let's say I accidentally messed up on this line and I didn't open up oops let's go up here say I messed up on this string and I accidentally and I accidentally misspelled hello well save this if you were actually coding in the, um, in the command prompt when I got to here after I inserted hello and I was at the end of my code and I was like whoops and I was like no I accidentally misspelled it you know what I would have to do I would have to why is it jumping all around I would actually have to um, jump all the way back to my data and fix this and then it hope it doesn't mess anything up and have, basically it would take a lot of jumping around in your data to fix if you mess a single thing up and the, we're using the debug command like this when you write it as a file if I accidentally misspell hello all I have to do is go up here and then add an L and then save it and then just run this command again and that will write the file all over again and there you go so that just basically how you write um, the files uh, assembly files for debug in the next tutorials we're going to write, be writing them for the flat assembler which I want to be back on Windows XP for that or I might actually get on my Windows 7 um, but just if you don't really understand how this worked all this does is for each line it just types it just types all this in exactly how it should so see it typed in A100 went to a new line which is the same thing as pressing enter typed in jump one for five typed in that 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 see the reason we left a space here is so we'll do the thing and press enter twice and so that's the reason we left a space there and the space there actually kinda looks nice because it makes it look more organized and it helps you keep it organized too so that's really it um, but that Whoops, I don't think color is on the old prompt. But if you are on, if you have like a super old computer, you can like look smart using debug on it. Like this is like super old school. Um, I used to have a Windows X, uh, Windows Me in my room, but now I we got rid of it, so I'm actually emulating this. But that's it for this tutorial. When Windows 98 is actually not that bad. It's just really slow and you can't connect to Wi-Fi, which makes it pretty bad.